Donna, clear my schedule tomorrow. You and I are hiring a new associate. Done. Tell me, does this suit make me look like a pimp? Yeah, a little bit. Great, thanks. Okay. Donna, we're gonna need to streamline this. Give each guy a hard time. Before you send them back, give me a wink if they say something clever. Cool? Okay. What are you looking for? Another me. Got it. Arrogant, self-absorbed, blowhard. Thinks he's the smartest one in the room. That's why I love you. You get me. Uh, hey, Donna, can you show me how to fill out a subpoena? Absolutely. And after that, do you want me to show you how to wipe your ass? It's funny, because you should already know how to do both those things. Ah, oh, yeah, that's hilarious. What's that? That's my suit guy. Go in, tell him I sent you, and spend some money. What does it matter how much money I spent on suits? These people respond to how we're dressed, so like it or not, this is what you have to do. That's weird. You giving me advice? Sounds like you actually care about me. I don't. You're a reflection of me, and I absolutely care about me. So get your skinny tie out of my face and get to work. That was a little harsh. Really? Yeah. Donna, I need the... Oh, also, I didn't have a chance to marry me? We took care of that, too. We've been married for the last seven years. Excellent. It's not going to take long, OK? I'm going to get it dismissed. Donna, call the court. We need priority status on the docket. Yeah, I already tried. You drew Judge Palermo. You know what you have to do, don't you? Yeah. The other thing that goes against every fiber of my being. Donna, schedule another tea party with Joy as soon as possible and text me the names of her girls. Oh, what a shock. You can't keep girls' names straight in your head. Just yours, Debbie. See, that's funny because your name is Donna. God, ask me for something else. Harvey, this is non-negotiable. You owe me now. Donna is one thing that I can't give you. Why not? For one thing, she'd never agree to it. You're her boss. You just tell her to do stuff. I don't tell her to do anything. She just does. All right, fine. You know what? That's just... Not a problem. I will call Judge Palermo, and I'll tell him I was mistaken, and then your hearing will be in, I don't know, maybe six months? I tell you what, if you can convince her yourself, you have my blessing. She's gonna love me so much, you're gonna fight to get her back. How'd the negotiation go? You come out on top? Why don't you tell me Scotty was opposing counsel? Because I didn't want you to have performance anxiety. About the case. She's tough. You're obvious. And your fly's unzipped. No, it isn't. But it was earlier today. <gasps> you can do better. Ooh, is that what Scotty said? Type up the deal points. I got her to cave. DeBeck's gonna run the show. All I had to do was show her our books. Donna, I need to talk to Lewis. He's not in his office. Huh. Norma wouldn't tell you where he is? Well, she didn't, um... You didn't ask her, did you? She gives me the creeps. Oh, you're such a wuss. What did you just say to me? I think we both know what I just said. Norma, where is he? What? You're kidding. What? It's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Don't cry. Please don't cry, Donna. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I owe you one for that. That was fun. Wait a second. The time that you cried and then I let your parents stay in my condo? Yep. Those other cases were spread out geographically, economically, socially. Ours is in a single town, a single school with a single cluster of plaintiffs. OK, that's good. That tennis playing douchebag Travis Tanner's on the phone. You know I listen. What's the big secret? It's no secret, just don't. And what are we talking about? The Price Sisters. Those girls. I'm sorry, Harvey. You set me up. No, Lewis, you set yourself up. The sales offer was meaningless until you read it. This is cheating. You cheated, Lewis. You broke the rules, and you have to pay the price. People may think that lawyers will do anything, that they can do anything. Now, I'm not willing to accept that, OK? You can't go skirting the rules and justify it because you think someone else broke the rules, OK? You cheated, and you lost. End of story. Yeah, 
that's Kobe. He won't care. You really know him. <laughs> I really do. No. Never. No. Ever. No. Never, ever. No. Why not? Because you can never go back. Can I help you? I'm not gonna let him take the fall for that asshole. Have a seat. Harvey didn't see it for a long time. I mean, Cameron's good when he wants to be. You know how I judge a man's character? Not by how he treats his equals, but by how he treats the underlings. Lowest rungs on the ladder. You always impress me in that regard. Thank you. Harvey would never use that, and he'd kill me if he knew I had it, but can you help him? Can you use this to help him? Terrence, you're forcing me to do something that I'd rather not do. And what is that? Take this case on. I win. It's what I do. It'll send a message around your entire office that you can't handle your business. Well, if I lose, I lose. That's the way the law works. But Harvey, don't think I can't send a message or two myself. Rumor has it you're the traitor who sold out his former boss. It wasn't me. Those rumors are wrong. So mysterious evidence from back in the day on your old boss just appeared. You didn't know. Maybe it wasn't you. But it had to be somebody, right, Harvey? Have a nice day. My office now. I have never thought about firing you. You took something when we quit the DA's office? Come clean right now or I'll let you go and not give it a minute's thought. I knew it. You were in trouble. You had no right. I don't care. What'd you do with it? She did what she had to do. She gave it to me. And the two of you saw fit to fight my battles for me? We did what you would have done for either one of us. So get off your high horse. Leave the woman alone. We work because I've always known that I can trust you. Don't ever go behind my back again. You're welcome. Donna. Mm-hmm. You need to get over it. I'm trying. It's not that easy. Yes, it is. Tell me. OK. Think about what your life would be like without her. Now I know. Know what? You always forgive me. Oh, it's nowhere near as easy to forgive you. Think about it. Oh, I do. Every goddamn day. <laughs> Starting trial today. I know, you've got five minutes. Never start a trial without doing our thing. Yeah, well, you don't have time. There's plenty of time. We don't have time. I'm sorry. For what? Don't push it. Okay, let's go. We got three minutes. Okay. Here or my office? Here's good. Okay, on three. One, two. Wait, let's go in your office. I'll get the can opener. Yeah. 